in today's haircut tutorial we have something different all right a lot of times i show you guys fades tapers but today we have a majority scissor work haircut so i'm super excited let's get into it we're gonna start off by creating our part right where his corner is and then we're gonna go all the way to his crown area and then pin that up on both sides and this is gonna make it a lot simpler to trim up the side so now we're gonna take vertical sections that are kind of slanted and we're gonna cut this to the to the desired length and we're gonna do this all the way throughout the head so you'll see me create that section pull out the hair and then trim it to the desired length and every time I create a new section I take it the piece of the previous section and I use that as my reference point right so I'm gonna do that again and you'll see the difference in length and then we're just gonna go ahead and trim it to that desired length and I know you guys are gonna ask me what scissors I am using if I'm being honest I do not know uh, these are very cheap um, sh scissors or shears that I got from a beauty supply store um, but I have gotten them sharpened so they cut a lot smoother but there's not a specific name to these but the comb that I'm using, I did get it from Sally's. And now we're, we're all the way at the back of the head now, taking that vertic vertical section and then pulling it outwards. I'm not pulling too tightly, I'm kind of pulling loosely. And now we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing, starting in the front. Go ahead and trim that. Now we're going to take another section. And right there, you can see the difference in length super simple super easy i always got scared when doing scissor work on the sides because um it was just very awkward i didn't know how to pull the hair up i didn't know how to section it but you want to make sure that you dampen the hair enough to create these clean sections so you can stay nice and organized now we're making another section right here pulling straight out Still doing the same exact thing, staying real consistent, real patient here. And really scissor work is all about staying clean. And now we're going to take those clips out and get into the top. So we're going to create three sections on the top, one on the left, one in the middle, and one on the right. And we're going to start off by creating, uh, trimming this middle section. And we're going to take off about a half an inch here. And we're going to follow that straight back. And you'll see me comb that over into his right section and now we're going to take horizontal sections and use that middle guideline as our reference point point. and we're going to do this moving all the way towards the front of the head and you'll see right here it kind of connects right into the side so now we're, we're creating another section trimming into that desired length super simple super easy hopefully you know this makes sense now we're all the way at the front on the right side of his head and now we're gonna take uh that middle section again and comb that over to his left side and do the same exact thing and by the time we finish this side everything should be pretty much even but we will go back and cross check now we're going to go ahead and create another section. And what I could have done um, is I could have made the sections a lot smaller. But since his hair um, is longer, big, sick, back, big sections aren't that big of a deal. But I could definitely could have made the sections a lot smaller. Meaning every time that I part the hair. Now we're at the front. We're going to pull that straight up and just trim it. And now we're gonna go ahead and dry it, right? We're done with the trim. And with this, I'm not blow drying with a brush. I'm kind of just, you know, lifting it up and moving it with my hair because I want it to dry more natural looking because he has a nice flow to his hair. So I'm just trying to get it as dry as possible. And this is how it looks dried, right? Nice style, nice texture, naturally, right? I didn't even add texture to his hair. It just kind of is like that. And now we're going to get into his neck taper. So for his neck taper, we're going to create our bald line a little below the bottom of the ear and go straight across. 
Now we're going to flip that trimmer around and ball them out. Now to get it nice and close to the skin, we're going to use our shaver. And this is just going to make that taper last the extra couple days, right? Because it gets rid of all the stubble. And now we're going to come in with our clipper lever all the way open, going up about a finger's width. This taper, we don't want to go too high, especially since he has a lot of length towards the back. So I'm being very careful not to go too high up with it. So now to get rid of that faint line in between, I'm going to come in closed and then gradually open up that lever as we move up. Now following up that open, we're going to come in one guard lever all the way open. Still going up about a finger's width. And even though we don't want to go up too high, we want to make sure that we're stretching out this taper and not making it look too bunched up. So you'll see me flick out a lot, a lot towards the top so I don't create too hard of a line. And you'll see, I'll go over a guideline multiple times to make sure, you know, it's nice and symmetrical all the way across. So now I'm lining up that line in between with the clipper uh, one guard closed. And now to get rid of it fully, I'm going to come in half guard um, closed. And then I open it gradually as we move up. Now we're going to come in with our two guard lever open. Trying to blend into that length as best as possible, but since it is so long, it is going to create a line. But I'm just trying my best to make it, you know, a soft line, if that makes sense. Now for that line under, we're going to come in one and a half lever open. And if the open doesn't do the job, you'll see me go ahead and close up that lever. And you'll see, man, no matter the length on the side of the head or anything, I use the same exact system and process for every haircut, every hairstyle, and every hair texture. And this one and a half isn't really getting rid of that line fully, so I'm going to come in with my one guard lever open, and then I'm just playing with the lever, seeing what works and what doesn't, trying to detail this line out as best as possible. And now for the biggest guard we are going to use, it is going to be our four guard lever all the way open. And with this, we're trying to blend into that length, right? This is going to be the blend before the thinning shear. So it's not going to be perfect, but I'm trying my best for it to be, you know, seamless and not really too harsh of a line. So that way, when I come in with my thinning shears, it's just real nice and simple to smooth everything out. And I was a little worried at this point in the haircut that I took the taper up a little too high, but I do finesse it and make it work. So right under that four guard, we're gonna come in with our three guard open. And at this point, we're gonna be blending down into the taper. And this is just to prevent going up too high, right? So now I'm gonna close it up. Start lighting up that line a little more. And now the three guard didn't get rid of it fully, so I'm going to come in with my two guard open. And we're just working our way down until we get this line blended out. Now we're going to do our one and a half lever open to close, closing it as needed. And you can see as we work down, this taper is coming together very nicely. Now to really soften up that blend and transition into the length on the back and sides as best as we can, we're going to use our thinning shears. Now with the thinning shears, I'm coming in with my comb and flaring out slightly. And any hair sticking out of the comb, I'm going to go ahead and attack with those shears. And this is going to soften everything up and get it, you know, nice and smooth. Especially right there behind the ear. That's probably the most difficult part. So now we're going to get into the tape around the sides, right? So with the tape around the sides, I'm starting at the end of his eyebrow and where the ear connects to the head. And I'm going to go ahead and bought it out. Now, a lot of people will do a very low taper on this type of haircut, but I like my tapers to really pop. So I took it up just a little higher. So now we're going to come in lever all the way open, going up about a finger's width, still maintaining kind of that round shape that I established with my bod line. 
Now to get rid of that line in between, I'm gonna come in close and then gradually open up that lever. For the next step, we're gonna have our one guard lever all the way open, using the corner of the blade here so that way I don't risk taking it up too high. Combing as I do so, and now for the line in between, I'm gonna come in with my half guard open. And then as you would guess, I will go ahead and close that lever as needed as well. And you can already see this taper starting to come together very nicely. Now we're going to come in two guard lever all the way open, scooping out. And just with this two guard here, you can see the taper starts to come together. Now right under that, we're going to come in one and a half for that very faint line. And I just attacked it close since it was almost gone already. Now we have all that weight towards the top. So I'm going to go ahead and section it off so I don't risk cutting off too much of the top. And I'm going to come in with my four guard open. Kind of flaring out as I go up trying to blend into that length. And now you're going to see me go with the grain of the hair to try to debulk it a little bit. So now I'm going to do some clipper over comb because I, I didn't want to risk taking it up too high. So I'm coming in with that comb and then any hair sticking out, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. And now the thinning shears is really going to bring it together. It's going to soften everything up and really make it blend. And that taper is looking fire. And now we're going to go ahead and outline it. So we're going to start at the top of his arch. And then you'll see me go to the bottom and meet those two points in the middle. And when I put the line on this taper, you're going to really see the taper kind of, you know, pop and really make the haircut look extra fresh. And that's the reason I like taking the taper up a little bit higher. It looks like more of a haircut and plus it lasts longer. And now we're going to go ahead and line up his nape area. So I'm going to start at the bottom and then work my way towards the top. Trying not to, you know, take it up too high around the ear. You want to keep it as low as possible and as natural as possible. And putting the, the line on that taper really made it pop as well. This is kind of the outline or the framework to the entire haircut. Now we're going to line up the other side. I mean, that profile shot looks so fire, man. The nice flow backwards with the taper and the line. Super clean. And now even though he didn't line up the front, we did line up the arches, so we are going to use the razor in order to sharpen that up and really make that lineup look super crispy. But fam, I thought this haircut came out fire. If you do as well, make sure you leave a like and a comment. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. But like always, I will catch you guys next time.